This is it, Nelson. This is the plane that will fly faster than sound itself. This is the plane that will crash through the sound barrier. JB, you're mad. What is the sound barrier? Actually, the term is pretty misleading. Let me break it down for you. As I'm talking to you now, the sound of my voice is traveling as waves through the air. Here at sea level, those waves are traveling at 760 miles per hour, the speed of sound. Now, think about how an airplane moves through the atmosphere. When a plane is traveling at subsonic speeds, meaning less than the speed of sound, air molecules flow over the plane's surfaces, creating both lift and drag. At these speeds, the air ahead of the plane actually begins to flow out of the way before the plane reaches it. This is caused by a pressure wave that travels just in front of the plane that changes the air smoothly and gradually. But when a plane travels faster than the speed of sound, it's traveling so fast it catches up to its own pressure wave. The air molecules ahead of the plane don't have time to react, and the plane just plows on through them. Suddenly, drag increases a lot. Early planes trying to travel this fast would begin to shake violently, losing lift and control, sometimes even breaking apart and crashing. This led to the concept of a sound barrier, a speed limit that could not be broken. It was 1947 when Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager became the first person to break this so-called barrier in a plane called the Bell X-1. How did he do it? By overcoming drag. The Bell X-1 had to be designed differently from any other plane that had flown before it. It kind of looked like a bullet with thin wings. The X-1 was carried up into the sky by a B-29 bomber, released, and then the X-1's rocket-powered engines took over. The plane roared along, reaching a speed of Mach 1.06. Mach is the word that's used to describe the speed of a plane. Mach 1 is a speed equal to the speed of sound, also known as transonic. Mach 2 is equal to two times the speed of sound. Mach 3 is equal to three times, and so on. Supersonic is used to describe speeds between Mach 1 and Mach 5. Anything over Mach 5 is called hypersonic. The fastest speed on record for an aircraft was achieved by the X-15 in 1967. The X-15 reached Mach 6.1, 4,534 miles per hour. Aside from vehicles designed to fly in outer space, this record still stands as the airspeed record for man-powered flight.